Hello guys, this is Lolly and I'm loafing in the kitchen of Ox because I want to steal this wash bin for my own map, but I can't do so because the only thing I can move from this thing here is the piece of water that is placed inside it, but I cannot move the table, nor can I move the tub, or I cannot move this lovely shelf that is standing next to the wall. Interestingly, there is two of it, so it should have been from an asset library or something like that. So what would be interesting if I could slice out this tub from this map and insert it in my own map, like a, a control C, control V, copy paste sequence. The problematic part here is that I don't have the GUI tools to highlight the necessary polygons, similarly to what you could do in Freddle's Unity based editor. So what I have to do is I have to stand in here, get my coordinates and let's try something like copying everything from the center of the tub in, in like uh, 200 unit radius in all way around and let's see what we get. I'm using this Lolly's minigame map for experimenting and this is, as you can see, the slice that I have cut out from the kitchen and I have upscaled it a tiny bit because that is how you can make this wooden tub look like a normal tub, a normal size tub where a goblin could fit and also here's the wooden shelf. It's a bit hidden in the shadows here. All right, what I can do now is, let's say I want to remove every polygon here. Let me just show you guys what I mean. So I have a couple of polygons here and a good bunch. And let's say I only want to keep the ones which are here on the side of the uh, wooden tub. And it says it should be the fix inter barrel. And if I'm doing so, then I should be able to uh, have this wooden tub remaining and everything else removed. Let's see how that looks. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that video that I had back then in two years ago in Hectoberfest 2021, where I talked about needing prefabs or needing an asset library created from the game's assets. We can go with simpler objects like with this jug, which are already made as an FTL file or an entity, we can just move this stuff around, but we need to be a bit more creative with these other parts of the map, because these are parts of the mesh, these cannot be moved around, and all sorts of other constraints, but at least I can jump on it. Until today, as I have managed to add another pile of code on top of my level generation pipeline or workflow that I have here, be back in a second and I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, that's a bit in a different position, but you can see that I can move this. I can add it to my inventory. It's a bit big, but I can position it anywhere I want to. And so I can slice out any part of any of the maps and then I can decide whether I want to make it interactive like a door and do scripting with it, moving it dynamically, rotating it, animating, whatever. I can turn this even into an enemy that follows me and kills me. And what else can I do? Oh yeah, I can use this as a weapon. Maybe that would be an interesting thing to try out. But then we will end up having an asset library, a library of small things that we can move around. All right, let me try restoring the removed polygons just to illustrate how awesome this thing is. Check this out, I'm moving the half of the kitchen now. It's draggable, it's interactive. I can add it to my inventory. Heck, guys, I can move the whole city of Ox now as an entity. That's so cool. We can do so many stuff with this. Okay, guys, I'm very tired. I coded a lot of this stuff. But for now, I am concluding this year's Hectoberfest. 
But don't run away, I will continue working with these projects and I will keep you guys updated if anything happens or rather as soon as something mentionable happens and of course if you guys can load and try out a new map. Thanks for sticking with me throughout the whole month of October, but for now I'm out and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, bye bye!